We are live. Hello, friends. It's DJ Rachel coming to you from South Point in the fabulous Las Vegas. I'm ready to kind of show you guys the new and exciting DJ console from Danny Max that I promised you all. I'm currently in the showroom. I don't want to show it yet because I want to give, uh, you know, vendors you know some time to kind of get set up and get their things looking great but they've made a lot of progress and there's some really awesome stuff here this year but for now i'm just going to keep it focused on uh, max design so for those of you who may not know i actually came out with danny max this year to help him at this show i've been setting up uh, max design gear for like two days <laughs> anyway the point of this video what you all have been waiting for is danny has finally released a product some of you have been asking for. So just to kind of give you a little background of the products, if you're not familiar with kind of what he sells. So Danny is a company that sells both photo booths and DJ furniture. Now I have the Infinity DJ console, which is this version right here, which is the uh, two column style booth, super modern. Absolutely love this thing. I've been rocking with this for, God, I think it's been about a year now and it's been incredible. I also have these uh, collapsible totems. So Danny has, um, this is the Infinity XL, which can fit anything. As you can see right here, we got a set of brand new Rain 12s MK2s. So you can fit some big stuff in here. Honestly, this can fit anything. So the Infinity XL, if you have a really large setup, this is what you're going to need. I personally use the Infinity L, which is what we have over here. So this is what I'm currently using. And this will fit anything up to an SRT 1000. This is about the biggest controller you're going to get. But for me, this is uh, extremely lightweight and keeps set up a snap. But if you have a big setup, absolutely, it can be accommodated in the XL version. So I'm happy to answer questions about this in a little bit. But this is what I am so excited to show you guys. So we are now debuting the new Max Design Edge. This is a pedestal style DJ console. Some people were interested in having the center closed because they felt a little weird with the uh, center being open with people being able to see their legs. So Danny listened to the community and has now released this booth that now has the center closed. So there are a lot of similarities in these booths. So let me start with that. So number one, they are made out of the same material, which is a multi-layer um, composite PVC. Extremely durable. If you haven't seen me uh, in my last video on the booth, I literally took this thing sledding. I wiped food coloring on it. I poured wine on it. So it's the same exact material as all his other booths. It has the same dual laptop capability. You can get custom plates made. It has uh, Ape Labs uh, remote integration. It also has Ape Labs lighting integration. So there's a lot of overlap between the products. So what I want to kind of do is highlight what is different about the booths and maybe why you'd want one over the other. So obviously to start aesthetically, it's a pedestal style but what's really cool is that it is completely collapsible and we're going to show you how this thing breaks down and folds up flat into a case so right here this is the edge l which is a smaller version there is an xl version of the edge as well which just like the infinity xl can fit anything you want to put in it um we've also had actually i'm going to sneak away from danny's booth for a second just because this is such an exciting product let's head over to pioneer because i think you know exactly what i'm going to be showing you i hope i don't get in trouble for kind of an early first look i'm going to sneak on over to pioneer so hold on <laughs> oh this makes me sad well actually they're smart uh pioneer i think maybe out to lunch but right here folks is where that new rev 7 is gonna sit I've already been able to touch it get my hands on it it is such a dope unit I was gonna show it to you but I think they took it because they didn't just want it kind of laying out but we got pioneer in the house and we have physically taken that controller we brought it over to the new edge L and folks it fits so if you want to get the new pioneer um, rev 7 and you're interested in this booth it does absolutely fit 
right here, just like the rain one that we got here. So this is the inside of the edge. Now, obviously one of the other biggest difference here is you can fit your own personal 19 inch rack. So for those of you who have a little bit more gear and we're looking for something beyond the one U rack, now you can have all of this space right here. Or honestly, if you just want a space for your laptop bag, so you can have you know some extra stuff with you or some backup items, because the Plexi's opaque, you don't even see it from the other side. So everything is nice and hidden and still really tiny, so you can have all your gear kind of tucked away in there, and it gives you a little extra storage. Oh, uh, let's see what else here before we get to the actual breakdown. Um, there is no wire management in here because everything is obviously hid by this front facade here. And I'll give you a closer look kind of on the inside here. So as you can see, we got our ape coins right here. And because they are recessed back, it really fills this whole entire space and makes the whole thing glow. And it gives an awesome look from the other side with these individual sections. You're gonna notice that it has all the same latching mechanisms as all of his other products. So the assembly is still a snap, I guess, pun intended there. Um, all wire management comes, drops right down from the top. So it's really simple, quick connects right here. We got power and obviously audio. And then you just, you know, you'd run your speakers. You can come underneath the base. I can, as you can see, I can fit my finger under here. So all XLR and power wires will tuck nicely under the base. So wire management is a breeze and it won't damage or pinch any of your cables. Uh, what else? You know, we still got all the same awesome convenient mods, our headphone holder, our mic holder. We still got our 1U rack there. So that's pretty much the inside of this thing. So I think now it's time, unless you guys have any questions, I'm just gonna kind of peruse through the chat right now um what's the carrying case look like i will show you that in just a minute um hello alex from the uk glad you're tuning in uh let's see i'm just looking for any other questions if i can answer right now okay i think we're good so since i didn't see any specific questions about what i've showed you so far what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to hand the phone over we have uh danny max here himself hey there hey everyone he wanted to be here for this. Um, again, we're so excited about this. So he's actually going to take my phone. And since this is brand new to me, I'm going to kind of show you how this breaks down and packs away and, and all that. So let's get this camera flipped around. Okay. All right, cool. So again, what's really awesome about this, it's a foldable design. So everything folds really flat but a lot of it already stays connected, so it's only a few latches to kind of get this front part set up. So look at how easy this is. So we have three latches, or I'm sorry, four latches right here. Right up here at the top. And this just disconnects like that, and then everything folds nice and flat. And super lightweight, really durable. And then what we would do is, when you're ready to pack it up, this is the carrying case, so this may look familiar to you. This is the same SKB case that the uh, both Infinities use for the tops. Is that correct, Dave? Uh, for the Infinity L. For the Infinity L, same top as that. So everything folds flat. And then you'd put a piece of foam. Obviously, as a barrier to keep things, you know, just nice and tidy and protected. Then the next piece that goes is the other corner piece into the case. So this center piece right here is what connects both of these edge pieces. So there's kind of a finishing piece in the center. Hold on, let me come around so we can see you unlatching it. Just like so. Clean this up. And hold flat. No, that's the right one. Yep, you're right. She's learning too. Yep. Then we have our last piece. Yep, just flip that over. Oh, yeah. There you go. Fold those latches flat. Either way, that's good. Yep. 
And then now the base? And the base plate goes upside down. Yep. Like so. Laptop stands fit in the left side there. You can fit up to two laptop stands. Okay. Um, we would have to actually take the arm off, so we're not going to do that right now. But this will just go right in the case, and then the top gets its separate case. Yep. And that's pretty much it. So the uh, Note that the top case is the same exact case. They're identical, so you're going to have two identical cases with this model. If you were getting the XL version, the top case would be larger. It would be like our Infinity XL top case. Put it together? Uh, you can put it together, sure. Right. Okay. Well, we'll go in reverse. So if you're interested to kind of see how this builds, again, I haven't practiced or anything, so we'll kind of just uh, get this set up. I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it if you so need it, but I think we got it. The DJ, the, the points, right? Yes. I do remember you saying that. Uh-huh. Am I lined up with this one? Ah, uh, it's close enough. It's actually little grooves in the base plate that that snaps into so it can get perfectly aligned. Super easy to do. No, you were right. You were right the first time. Yep. This is literally the first time Rachel is doing this. lip here that's going to tell you that this is the top panel so when you're setting it up you visually can see kind of where the stuff uh, needs to go that's it top goes on there's little um grooves so kind of see where the, the alignment is yep so what i'm looking for there's these recesses in here so you kind of just want to align the top and then everything is gonna yeah there's two on the side as well so you want to make sure the side ones are actually lined up better rachel uh -huh. and then it'll just pop in together there we go yep and you just you know it you hear it you feel it yeah and then now what i would do is i come back around there's the standard latches near the top, just like the other models, just to secure that down. Did I miss any? There uh, there's two, uh, two oh. on the back, too. Two right here. Yep. And that's it, folks. And then now, if this were a real gig, I'd reach my hand up in here, pull my wires down, plug my stuff in, you're ready to go. And if you choose to put a rack, you would just drop, drop your rack right inside. Yeah, absolutely. So, man, this is cool. I'm yeah. kind of pumped. So, I was asked last night why I would use one of the other. If you have a more involved event where you need that additional gear, additional mics, and that more space, this obviously is going to be your go-to. The other one, it just has such a unique look, and I love how it coordinates with the totems. So, honestly, depending on the type of event I'm doing would make me decide, you know, which booth I would bring. So, they both have their, you know, unique, unique points. So Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, cool. I mean, are there any questions? You can feel free to... I'll pass the phone over to you right. again. And... Oh, you okay? Yep, almost lost an ankle there. Questions in either myself or Rachel can answer them. Okay. So I'm back in the chat now. I like this version a lot. So far, some good feedback. Very cool. Fire, nice presentation. Again, guys, it wasn't rehearsed. Um, I'm not Mike, so I hope you could hear what I was saying. I hope I... Uh, We're not fully set up, so the booth kind of looks... She's too far here. from the microphone. I am going to do a full walkthrough. Maybe I'm going to take it sledding again. Who knows? I will do one of my normal videos because I want to make sure everyone's, you know, maximizing 
no pun intended, uh, the features and really understands kind of what they're buying. But I just, I had to give a first look and I wanted to do this before I got loud in here and busy and I'm just insanely excited about it. So that's kind of why I just wanted to hop on and give a, a live first look. You guys are literally the first to see this. We used it last night at the uh, DJ Takeover. It was phenomenal. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be some video clips of people kind of using the stuff. So yeah, with that, I think I will uh, kind of conclude this. I'll be going live again later for the whole show. I just, I don't wanna, you know, um, kind of blow up anybody's, you know, surprise. They're not fully set up and everything yet. So. I am holding down again the Max Design booth, helping them out here today. Questions, you can message me, whatever you need. And, and the listing is live on our website, so you can go to dannymax.com and you can actually purchase the product if you like it. Yeah, there you go. So it's live, it's ready live. to go. All right, so if you like what you saw and you want to get your orders in before anybody else, you have that advantage because the show floor doesn't open for another like three hours, right? Uh, it Five o'clock. Yeah, three hours. Three right. hours. I got so, a lot of work to do. And I have some pizza to go get because I haven't eaten. Am yeah. I even joking? Have I been complaining about food like the whole time? Uh, a little bit. Kind of. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, happy. It's Tuesday. When in Vegas, you lose time of dates, and I don't even know what day of the week it is. So, let's go say hi to Iris real quick, just because she's amazing. Iris, say hello to the Facebook Facebook world. Hi, Facebook. She's also holding it down. She's going to be uh, taking orders and sales and giving out free t-shirts. Giving out free t-shirts. So if you're in Vegas and you want one of these dope t-shirts, stop on by the Max Design booth. All right, folks, uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's it. Have a great day.